you know, J.J. Fad, who I interviewed recently, uh, they were upset that they weren't portrayed in the movie. How could you do a straight out of Compton movie without J.J. Fad? I just don't understand it. How are you going to do a movie when we open the doors for Ruthless Records? I mean, you could have just mentioned J.J. Fad. Like, you could have just had a, even an album on the wall. Just show something, you know, in the office. Yeah, I don't know how. I guess it was just too many avenues to go down for the movie because mm -hmm. there was already so much to put in two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. I don't know how they got left out, but what you gonna do when you can bring them in for a second? Just like Bone Thugs. All they got mentioned was the little cassette when he the, the, the actor put it on the table. That mm -hmm. was it. Yeah. So they couldn't, and Bone Thugs, son, sold 10 million records. Right. <laughs> but, yeah. you know, I guess it's just too many avenues to go down. Yeah, I mean, it was what, a two hour film? Yeah, two yeah. hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, so still, it was a long film as is. Yeah. Right, so the filming starts seven days into the filming, a drive-by shooting happens right in front of the cast and crew. Uh, yeah, you, uh, now I guess I haven't been on the set when that happened. Yeah. I guess a, a group of men standing outside the Compton Courthouse were flashing gang signs at a passing car. Oh. Uh, and then the car turned around and just opened fire. <laughs> That's uh, Compton. No one affiliated you know, with the movie was, yeah. was uh, actually injured, but another person uh, on the set was, was oh, shot. Oh, okay. But, you know, filming continued. Yeah. After that. And then January 29, 2015, the whole Suge Knight incident happened. Oh, yeah. I wasn't there. I don't know yeah. nothing about that. And that, 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 was a, that was a mess. Yeah. That was a mess. Yeah. Uh, hit and run. I mean, it happened. Uh, yeah. Terry Carter got killed. Suge ultimately took a 28 year plea deal. Um, and, you know, I mean, Dre spoke on that on the Defiant ones. Oh, did he? He, he was upset. That, that happened because I oh. guess him and Terry were actually pretty cool, and Terry had adopted a lot of kids and so forth oh, and, and so okay. forth. So, uh, but even with all the drama, Straight Outta Compton comes out number one movie in America for three weeks. For, yeah, uh, it it was the biggest music, music biopic. It was until this last one with whoever Queen, the last Queen. Queen. Yeah, I think that's the biggest now. But yeah. we had knocked everybody out the water. Great film. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. I went to like an early premiere, mm -hmm. uh, like a media kind of yeah. only premiere. Uh, I mean, the movie made over $200 million. Yeah. Uh, it got banned in some Asian countries. Yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. Well, you said that the movie was maybe 60% correct. 60 to 70, you know, because it's a lot of things happen at the same time, but in reality, they were separate. The DLC was in a little earlier. You know, it's just different stuff. You know, it, you know they had, like the Detroit, we didn't get arrested. Mm -hmm. You know, they had to make it look nice for the movie, you know, to keep it going, the energy. But, you know, everything didn't get in. Me, my, my story didn't get in, Ren's story, you know, so. Yeah, well, I mean, it was technically Dre and Cube's movie, right? Those were the two main guys uh, behind the film. In NWA. Well, I guess. I mean, you know. I well, more so than you and Ren. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't. I know I wasn't. Right. <laughs> right. But they were not consultants is what I'm saying. They yeah. were actually producers. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. So yeah. when you're in that in that seat, you get to decide I that guess. you're in it. <laughs> you know? I don't know what that seat feel like. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and ultimately, because of that film, you got to tour all around the oh, world. Yeah. You went to premieres everywhere. You yeah. got to DJ. And, yeah. and it ultimately helped you out financially beyond oh, yeah. whatever the consultant I didn't make was. it from the movie, but I made it off the movie. Right. Because I've been to 100 countries in the past few years. So. Yeah, that's dope. 